I'm Hester, this is Handmade Home and today we're making a wine rack. Bosch Home and Garden asked if I fancy trying out their latest XO screwdriver and I was just looking for a smaller screwdriver because you know sometimes when you do the little projects around the house or when you're working at tight corners big heavy bulky drill driver just doesn't do the job really well so in come the little XO model I absolutely love it, it's very small, it's so light and it has some really cool features, let me show you. So as you can see, it not only looks great, but it has speed control. So if I push it in a bit further, it goes faster. What I love as well, it has a USB charger, which I think is absolutely amazing. Got a little light so you can see what you're doing. And the buttons here show you if it needs to be charged. So it comes in this little box, and like I said, it has a micro USB charger. So you can just plug it straight into a USB port or use the plug provided. And it comes with a handy set of um, screw heads and also with a hex one for when you do your IKEA furniture. So it's not just the size and the look that I was really interested in. It also comes with loads of really cool attachments like this universal cutter. You just click this on and it's very good to cutting anything up to 6mm. Apparently it's very good for cardboard, for cloth, for leather, anything you want to cut. So I can't wait to try that out. They also sent me the barbecue attachment, which is an adapter that just blows air so you get your barbecue started. And to make this very fun in the kitchen, we have a corkscrew and a spice grinder. So let's go and try these out. So I was thinking, screwdriver, cutter, corkscrew, let's make a wine rack. So the base of our wine rack is going to be a piece of 12mm thick plywood. This one is 60cm wide, 75cm long and I painted it white. Let's just put this in place and let me clear the counter a little bit. So besides the XO screwdriver and cutter, we'll also be using mirror screws. Mirror screws are screws that come with this little cap. So once you put the screw in like that, you can hide the ugly screw head with this little cap. Yes, yeah, so have a look for mirror screws or otherwise screw caps and you can find those. We need six of those. We're going to use a tape measure, some leather, safety glasses, a clamp and of course your bottles of wine. So we're going to use the leather to hang our bottles like so. We're going to hang three bottles there. So first of all we need to cut the length of our leather. I think something like this will work and that is... 40 centimeters. So we're going to cut six lengths of 40 centimeters from our leather strips. And for this, we're going to use the cutter. So we're going to take this rubber ring off the screwdriver, attach the cutter, make sure it clicks in place. It's ready to use now. I'm just going to make it easy on myself by clamping the end of the leather in place to my worktop. Which is, see, 40 centimeters is here. Let's cut. That is so easy. I don't know if you've tried to cut leather with scissors. It's very difficult and this is super easy. So let's cut five more. Let me just do one without clamping. That works perfectly fine too. Loving this little cutter. Just make it a little bit easier to screw this in the right spot. Just two centimeters from the top and in the middle, I'm gonna do a little hole with my punch cutter. I'll do this on both sides. And I'll do this on all the strips. Let's take those out of the way. We're gonna grab a little XO cutter, take that attachment off. We're gonna put the ring back in place because we're gonna use it as a screwdriver. Let's choose the right size head for our screws. It's uh, that one. Ooh, come out you. Pop it in the screwdriver. And ready to use. Back to our board. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the screw, pop it through the ring of our mirror plug, through your leather through on the other bit so we have a nice loop and we're going to screw this to the board. I'm going to do a nice bit of eyeballing here but uh, let's put the wine in there so we sort of want to have it there 
let's screw it in place. So let's see, we sort of want it there. I make a little mark. can screw these little caps on and the first hooks are in place. I want to say one rack done but looking at it I don't really like the placement of the bottles like this. What I'm gonna do I'm gonna take these two off gonna Rehang them. This one has to scoop over a little this way, this one has to scoop over that way. Fill the holes, repaint them, and then we're done. Luckily, reverse mode on my screwdriver. Let's take the bottles out first. Put the screwdriver in reverse and take them off. Much better. Now I just need to fill the little holes and we're done. screwdriver to make that but also to grind your pepper and to open your wine bottles. If you want more information about the XO and all the other accessories to have, have a look online at uh, Bosch Home and Garden. If you enjoyed this video please show it some love and have a look at all the other videos I have here on the Handmade Home channel. I'll back to your new tutorial and I really hope to see you then.